Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up an employee deduction in WagePoint. My name is Jenny Moore and I'll be showing you how to do this today. Once you have successfully logged into WagePoint, what you need to do next is go to the Companies tab. You'll notice there's a series of tabs here at the top and we're going to select Company. When setting up an employee deduction, the best practice is to set it up on a company level first so that's available for all employees. Then go to each employee in which that deduction is applicable to. So this is our demo company called Jenny's Cupcakes. And we're going to go to the second layer of the tabs here. You're going to notice here's the first uh, section that we went to. We went to companies and now here's the second. We're going to go to deduction types. Perfect. Okay. Now, what's really neat about WagePoint is there are already some pre-populated, let's say, default deduction types. And, and this is how you can get started. You go over here to the green button and it says add a deduction. Let's click on that. From here, there's a down arrow key in which you can select from some of the defaults that are already available. So a common one for us here in our practice is our RRSPs. So I'm just going to click that and you'll see that the deduction type then becomes applicable per the CRA payroll tables. So here it's uh, deduct after income tax. No, it's to be deducted before income tax because that is what's applicable for RRSPs. Obviously some deduction types have to be done after tax. Uh, if it's deducted after CPP, yes. And if it's after de deducted after EI, yes. So what's really nice about some of these deductions is they're already pre-populated with this in mind. Now we can go ahead and put in the deduction type here. I'm just going to call it RRSP. And if you have an applicable GL expense account liability account, you can go ahead and do that. Then click Save. There we go. It's already there. Now, let's say you didn't see what you wanted in that list. Don't fret. Everything is okay. What you're going to do is select Request a Custom Deduction Type here. You'll simply input the information about what the type of deduction is. Also, please add information if it's to be uh, deducted after tax, before tax, if it's, is it CPP or EI exempt, etc. like that. Now, if you are setting up a new deduction type, just like any project and planning that we have, please ensure you give WagePoint sufficient time to review this and, and uh, install it in your specific WagePoint portal. So a good practice is to give yourself a couple of weeks to communicate with WagePoint, make sure it's in there and before you run your next payroll. Okay, and then you would select send a request. Okay, so we've done this on a company level. Now let's go to the employee level. So not all employees will have this specific deduction. Uh, you know, we can set the deductions also up for like garnishments, let's say. Well, not every employee is going to have a garnishment. Let's hope not, but uh, specific employees would. From here, I am going to select Jenny Moore. Now my employee details are being brought up for this individual. We're going to cascade over here and we're going to go to deductions and select that tab. We're going to add the deduction. Now these are deductions that we've already set up on the company level, which is what we did first. Remember, we only have RRSP set up. So we're going to select that. Does the employer pay a certain portion? Now for some of our clients here, we also have the employee will match or do a percentage or a dollar amount, whatever the case may be. So let's just say it's 2%. Okay, and is it just for the next pay or is it every pay? So you can see how you could have a deduction. Let's say uh, you have a, a company store and there's a deduction for purchases that the employee has made. Well, that can be just deducted off their next pay, uh, which is a really interesting thing that we solve pain points for as well. But in this case, since RRSP is every pay, we're going to select that. And what does the employer pay or the employee... And what does the employee pay? In this case, you can also have a percentage or a dollar amount. Let's just put a dollar amount. Let's say it's $300 per pay and select save. And there you go. That is how easy it is to set up a payroll deduction within WagePoint. If you have any further questions on how to set up an employee deduction in WagePoint, or if you're curious about how to solve your payroll pain with WagePoint, please contact sales at wagepoint.com. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to learn more about us. Have yourself a fabulous day.